Coffee chat day 20, sit down, grab yourself a coffee, enjoy the vibe. I got a new lighter, nice old baby blue lighter. So not much to talk about today. I mean, I buried two birds out in my back garden. So, I suppose there's that. Uh, yeah, so, back in December, my mother got, like, these four birds in, like, a cage, right? And she brought them down to my grandmother's, which is where we were staying at the time. And when we came back up to the house, you know, they we were just sort of, like, keeping them in one room. And just, like, because we have a cat, right? We can't, like... Let the cat get near them just in case. And, you know, one of the birds ended up dying, like, about a month ago. So, you know, like, obviously that was a bit tragic because the type of birds that they were, they mate for life. Like, you know, I check in on them every now and again. Oh, just dropped a two euro coin on the floor. Yeah, so I check in on them every now and again. And, you know, it was really tragic seeing that one of them was just quiet. Because, like, they didn't have their mate. So, you know, that was a bit sad. But then, uh, the other, another two ended up dying this week. So my mother was like, alright, we, we can't just keep them in this room. It's, it's too depressing. So, you know, she gave them to... Uh, her uncle, I want to say. I think it's her uncle. And, you know, he like, he's family either way, right? But, you know, he, we gave that, the last bird to him. I went out the back after cleaning the cage and all and buried the two birds. And now we're here. So, yeah. Again, though, it hasn't been really, like, an eventful day. I've just been, like, sort of chilling around a bit, you know, like, uh, it, it's a, it's a cozy day, like, it's a, it's a cozy day, I was gonna go to the gym, but the wrist pains, they just keep acting up, so I figured, like, probably best to just take a rest day, like, you know, as much as I want to go in there and, like, absolutely clobber some weights, it's like, you know, all my muscles still hurt from two days ago. And, like, with the wrist pain, it's like, I probably shouldn't be doing that. Oh, try and fix up my hair a bit. I like to keep my hair, like, wide at the sides, just because, like, I have a very tall face. So it's like... You know, I like to try and broaden out, make it look like a bit not as oblong. But I, I don't know, like, it's just how it is, really. Like, I cannot control this beast on my head. It just exists. So, yeah, I'm going to be recording this video. I'm going to be sitting down recording... Uh, Genesis chapter 2 and yeah we'll we'll be done with work for the day uh, you know it's been it it's a quick day I suppose like it feels like it's gone by really fast but it that's probably just because I woke up at half 10 today which you know not not exactly the worst like I've woken up at 8 p.m. before that's like that's how you know you're cooked but uh, you know, like, waking up at 10, like, that isn't nearly as bad as, like, waking up much later, I suppose. Only reason I woke up late, too, was because I was staying up till 4 a.m. playing this one game. And just before that, I was, like, hanging with a mate, you know, just having drinks and all. And, oh, we got up to some antics. There's, like, a, a ladder in my house that is very light, like concerningly light. Like my mother told me to 
go up to the attic to check for a suitcase about a couple of weeks ago. And when I got on that ladder, I was like concerned because it was just that light. Like it just, you could throw it. You could throw this ladder and it wouldn't take much effort. So me and my mate, you know, we were just goofing around. Uh, we kept putting the ladder on like our necks. I managed to bring it up onto my torso. Uh, There's one really funny picture that my mate took where it's just me leaning back and this ladder just horizontal, you know, going across and like, I don't know, like you, you had to be there. <laughs> you had to be there. But you know, that's just regular old antics, I suppose. I will say, though, uh, the, the smoking tally for yesterday was a bit brutal. I don't know if that's, like, the right way around. How would, how would I even record this the right way around? I know, but it says 17, right? So, I had 17 smokes last night. Uh, I think trying to get the weekly average down to 9 this week might be a bit cooked. Because, uh, you know, I had 9 smokes on the first day of this week. And the rest have all been 10 plus. So, that's not good. But, hey, you know, like, we... You can't win it all the time, right? Like, I've been bringing down the weekly average since I started smoking. Well, since I started, like, tracking my smokes. I've been bringing down the weekly average by one. But I think this week it might be a bit different. I think it, there might be a different story here. <laughs> but, hey, it's just it's how it is. I still need to print out like a bunch of shit posts because, all right, so a little bit of uh, room planning on this wall. I just want to have like shit posts. I just want to have like absolutely deplorable memes just plastered all over this wall. So like when people walk into this room, they just see that because it's like the wall right across from the door. So it's just, it would be so funny to just have like, a bunch of just dumb shit up on that wall. But yeah, I need to go to the library and start printing them out then. If I want to do that. Shouldn't be too hard, but like, I want to get the room painted like a different color. So, probably gonna do that first and then put up the shit posts. Finally got myself back on the lattes. I had to drink the Nescafe cappuccino sachets because, you know, like, I went to the closest shop that sells, like, the 12 packs of them. And they didn't have the lattes last time I bought them. So I, you know, like, I was a bit... I was... <laughs> You know, I've been dying for a good old latte. But cappuccinos aren't that bad either, so... You know, there was really nothing to complain about. But I do prefer lattes. Lattes are really good. Smoke's down. Only the coffee remains. I don't know if I've said this before, but this handle is a little bit off-center. And I didn't realize until, like, this week. And it's been just bothering me because now I can't unsee it. Like, here, I don't know if I can show you it, but that's it, like, straight on. You see how there's, like, more space here than there is here? So, like, you know... 
uh, it feels so weird to hold like this, knowing that, because it's like, hmm, I don't know how to feel about the handle being that close to my mouth. Like, I suppose I could just hold it like this, but most of the time I hold my coffee cups like that. Could just start holding it like this. No, really. I mean, when I was going to, when I went to the course on how to be a barista, which, you know, a little bit of lore there, right? Like, I'm dropping a little bit of lore. Uh, there was, like, a place in Dublin that, you know, teaches you how to use an espresso machine, make, like, all sorts of coffees, how to do latte art, like, all that sort of stuff, right? And when I was in there, the guy was telling us how to, like, hold the cup when you're pouring in the milk and it's like you have to hold it like you're holding the skull essentially and i don't know like i just think that's a little funny detail so next time you like any of you just go to a cafe make sure to like keep an eye out for that because it could be like a little you know you, you could have like a little moment where it's like oh i learned about that from some dude on youtube you know like some sort of shit like that Also, making latte art is pretty easy. You just steam up the milk. Uh, depending on... There's like a bunch of... I don't think there's a bunch of different ways to steam up milk. But like, when you're steaming up milk, you want to get the steam wand going down into the milk. You want to bring it up. Usually you'll have like one of those sort of metal milk jugs. You want to bring it up and have it like in line with the, uh, the spout of the uh, milk jug. You want to bring it down till about halfway, like in the milk. You want to steam it, and then you hold it like that until like your hands can't bear to touch it. Then you pull it down, and then you go one, two, three. Oh, excuse me. And you let like all the milk at the surface just steam up. And then when you're pouring it in, you sort of hold it, hold the coffee like the espresso in the cup like a skull and you pour it in like this right and then you go like and then you can make your designs with the foam on top like the the main one that I was really good at was the you know like the coffee heart so that's just like you make like a little splotch in the middle and then you just drag it through and then boom you got like a you got heart in your milk, in your coffee. Not like a real beating heart, obviously. Like just, you know, you got foamy milk in the shape of a heart. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many of you were thinking, uh, I don't want a heart in my coffee. But in case you were, don't worry. It's not a biological heart. It's just made of milk. So, yeah. Uh, we're on our last sip now. Coffee's down. That's all I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is.